you can uh, obviously when you've been able to play, it, it, things are you, you, you've got an opportunity. You know, you didn't have the chance there, you know, a month or so ago, and here you are, you're sitting at the center of the ball. You're pretty happy with the way it's gone so far. Uh, honestly, I've been very pleased with how it's been going. You know, it's always room for better. But uh, shoot, just being here with this team, being here with these guys, man, it's it's been a blessing for me. See yourself being here going forward next year? Uh, I would love to. I would love to. You know what I'm saying? I don't get to make that decision. But if I did, I'd be right here. <laughs> I'd be right here. What difference do you feel like you've been able to make in the run defense specifically? Um... Honestly, I'm just going out there, um, listening to my guys. I definitely learned a lot from the guys during the week, during the weeks before, during the game. Um, I would say, honestly, I'm just going out there trying to be disruptive. Honestly, just trying to have fun. You know, I uh, feel like lately just me being playing uh, over the years has been trying to do too much and you know, I think we just, as players, sometimes need to slow down and let it come to us. And so I've just been trying to revert back to the basics and just go out there and just have fun. Just play football and have fun. Um, you, you're fine. <laughs> um, personally, uh, when I first got here, it's just the love uh, from in the building, outside of the building. Um, and then when we on the field, man, it's the the leadership, the veteran leadership here is unbelievable. I mean, um, just for me to be to come and just to jump in and be able to play like I know more than probably more people know, but like I wouldn't be able to do it if if it wasn't for the vets here. You know what I'm saying? So my hat is mostly tipped off to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my part on able to just get lined up fast and you know, uh, get out the ball, use hands, you know, do our basic stuff. But shoot, man, all of this, man, I, I get this, to, I give my hat to the, to the vets. What's it like being a new guy working with Cam Hayward? <laughs> it's been easy for me. Uh, and as I speak on the vets, like Cam is definitely one of the main guys um, in practice, in the game, in the field room, where we're supposed to be right now. I love y'all, so I'm out here with y'all. <laughs> but, uh, um, man, Cam is just just a great guy, man. I know as long as I'm here, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be with another vet like that besides Cam, man. He's a great teammate, great person, and when we put them helmets on, I know he'll go to war with me, and I'm gonna do the same for him. Have you always been a run to the ball guy? You seem to get down the field pretty um, far, especially with Baker the other day. Honestly, I feel like I have. You know, I've, I don't really feel like my opinion matters. Uh, that much just because at the end of the day, it's about what you put on film. Um, so I can't really blame it on opportunities of the past. I can only control what I can control. Uh, I feel like if people turned on the tape, they would definitely see it. But uh, now that I'm able to, I guess, play a little bit more, be a little bit more consistent in being on the field, uh, I feel like it's a lot of things that uh, that I do and it'll open, it'll open people's eyes. Where does that come from in your game? There's some of those tackles that don't like to leave the hash mark. It seems like you're pretty comfortable. Uh, honestly, honestly, because I'm not, I, I wouldn't just say I'm a nose tackle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's crazy because before I first got here, I've heard people like say like, "Dang, you're a good nose," and I was like, "I never even really played nose for real." You know what I'm saying? Besides like Auburn, but um, the way that they use me here, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. I always felt like nose was an advantage, but I wasn't just a nose tackle. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm gonna do whatever they ask, and I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it the best as I can, and, and I'm gonna do it fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gavin Tucker is always important, but when you face former quarterbacks, fast quarterbacks like the Ravens have, you know, become even more important. What kind of things have you focused on and talked about with the guys who faced Lamar Jackson several times now about what you have to focus on this week? I mean, the main thing is always going to be gap integrity. Uh, we don't need, and just to be a team, we don't need three D linemen doing this and one D linemen doing this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it'll maybe work for some of those more, I guess, slower quarterbacks or less athletic quarterbacks. But 
at the end of the day, when you're going against a guy like Lamar or Huntley, at the end of the day, like, all they need is a little space. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like as long as we come together, play as a team, make sure we're on the same page defensively, then we can do what we need to do. You guys, had, you guys collectively voted uh, TJ team MVP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like, other than the obvious production and all that stuff, like, what did you, your, your time here, what have you seen out of him? Oh, man, man, it's, it's, it's been great to play with TJ. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say he's like a super big talker. Uh, but we definitely had our conversations, and uh, I think we definitely helped make each other a little bit better. Um, but I, I can tell you one thing for me, I definitely appreciate uh, playing beside him. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, he definitely probably helped me a lot more than I helped him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate it either way. What have you learned about his work ethic and just the way that he prepares before the game? I mean, without even looking at nothing, just knowing that. Uh, the physical things that's going on mentally and uh, with his body and just knowing that he's still out here. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing he's still out here, he's still at practice. And when that game come on, like last week and this week, he's still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what happened, how he gets hit uh, or whatever, losing the play, like I know like he's still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And, and he going he gonna to give 100% every play. Can't ask for nothing more. On the field, on the field, just give everything I can. And that's one thing I can promise. And I'm trying to be in this black and gold for a while. I will hope to finish my time here. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely been great here. Uh, definitely the best opportunity that I probably had so far. And so I want, like he said, I got on this train and I want to keep riding till the wheels fall off, most definitely.